What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers Inspiration Series. Now you might be wondering, well if this is the Inspiration Series, why the heck are we looking at your ugly mug? Well, uh, so, I'm not entirely sure how it happened, but it was only noticed after I recorded all the footage for this episode, um, which I didn't really want to redo again, so I'm kind of being a little bit cutting corners here, a little bit selfish on that side that I don't really want to do it all over again. Part of that is just because I don't really want to do it all over again. Part of it is also because, well, I wanted the same reactions and things that I had to the builds in this episode. But short version, I missed the audio for the game. My microphone came in fine, but for whatever reason, uh, there was a bit of a mix-up with OBS and my sound settings, and it didn't detect the right device it was set for like default or something and it did anyways so long story short if it'll probably sound a little bit weird because the game doesn't have any sound so when i bring up things like let me know if the sound sounds right it's not your ears it's not nothing wrong that you don't hear the game there's just no game sound this episode so just wanted to kind of put that out there as a psa and now let's get on to the rest of the partially quieted episode yeah we are starting things off today with the Solar Zeppelin. Not only because this is a really cool ship, but this is also the first episode that I've done in a while, too. So Solar Zeppelin has the honor of being the first thing to be showcased in a month or so. Long time. Um, so for those of you that have not watched my update video or anything like that, if you have, sorry, this is going to be a bit boring for a second. We're going to fly around the, the ship here. Um, but for those of you that don't keep up with my updates and whatever, uh, for the last month my computer had died, so I was working on getting a new one built by buying all the parts and figuring out what needed to be done, and mostly talking to a viewer of mine named Zazalus Arden, who was oh so helpful in um, not only helping me pick out the parts that would work best on my budget and stuff, but also um, helped me walk, walk me through the actual installation process and things when I had things go wrong. And I did have a few things go wrong that kind of freaked me out. Um, do I have my, do I have my lights on? I feel like I can't tell. Why are my lights not doing anything? This is weird. <laughs> this, this is weird and new. Hold up. Oh, there we go. We whatever. You might also notice that we are recording in 60 FPS, which is really, really cool. I'm really excited. Um, I'm starting to use OBS. I'm still working out some of the kinks, so if there's anything that you guys notice, sound being off or too loud or not as good of quality, or same thing with video, if it's choppy or not right or something. I've been receiving mostly good feedback on everything related to that side of things, um, so I'm pretty confident that it's going well, uh, but it's definitely easier on my end. Um, OBS records a lot smaller files, and I can make the render quality better with shorter times, and we get 60 FPS when the game will let me do that, which should be more often now that I have a newer, better rig. Um, and if any of you are actually interested or whatever, I could do a separate video or something talking about what it actually is and how it runs and blah, 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 blah. Um, but that's not, I don't want to take up any more time than I already have with that. So for any of you that are still interested in the, the shenanigans of what all went on and how all that happened, check out the update video that I posted recently because I talked about it in more in depth detail. So for lack of anything else that I want to take up time talking about other than this cool ship, let's get into the solar Zeppelin. So as the name implies, it is a solar panel covered Zeppelin, which is a really cool idea. Um, I actually did a Zeppelin a long time ago, back when I was still terrible at building anything, so yesterday. Um, and it was the idea of a space Zeppelin, but I didn't even think about it. I don't even know if solar panels were in the game at that point, it was really early on, but the solar panel Zeppelin is a really, really cool idea, especially for somebody like me. You guys know how much I love uh, solar powered ships. Now, the only caveat to this is it is basically exploratory passenger, etc. and so on. It's not 
got any kind of weaponry that I know of on it. So it's not a very um, defendable ship, per se. And actually, it is designed to be in uh, an atmosphere, which you can tell by the atmospheric thrusters. I was under the impression it could fly out in space, but I'm looking around here and I'm not seeing too many ion thrusters, as in none. So we might have to paste this guy into a planet in order to actually do anything with it, which is odd because it does say in the description that the cabin for piloting it is pressurized. So I'm a little confused because though I have heard, I have heard people say that you can do um, atmospheric thrusters on like moons and stuff, but it still seems a bit odd to me. Um, it also has a auto flying system, which I'll have to engage through stuff. We've got a readout thing here that gives you all of your system information. It does have a small reactor for backup power, just in case. Uh, but you can see we have the pitch over here, the auto fly over here, the reactor on and off here, roll, rotate, strafe. Uh, increase and decrease. I'm guessing this is straight left. So I'm, I am somewhat curious as to why this is designed with a button control system and not something like the WASD script or something. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it won't work with the auto flying. Not too sure. Also not sure what's making me flip around like that. Okay, so this comes back up to the top, but it is still depressurized up here. So the only pressurized area is the actual um, cabin. Ooh, what, what am I stuck on? That was weird. Wait, <laughs> which way is up? All right, this way. Come on, stick to the ground. Thank you. Okay, so this is spotlights, pistons for the landing gears, and a turret. So it does have one turret, it looks like. I'm not sure if that's an interior one or not. Uh, cockpit system on and off, control system, not sure what the difference is. Uh, life system, definitely don't want to turn that off. Comm system. So, yeah. What does this one do up here? I didn't really read this. Backward dampener. Okay. Nah. I really hate ships that don't have gravity. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking that if I push this button, I don't think we're going to go anywhere. So I'm going to actually have to reload this into a planet, I think. Okay, so we have this on a planet now. I pasted it in and it descended slowly like it said it was supposed to. I'm not sure if I have damage off on this planet or not, or not this world, not planet. Not sure if I have that disabled or not. Um, tell me I can like use this though. That would be cool. Oh, right. Um, I do recall from the description that you're supposed to set this to all, or to, or to me, and there's something about the scripts, uh, programmable blocks. So you're also supposed to basically edit, remember and exit, and I think run them, I hope. Uh, that's what the description said, because otherwise they won't sync right or something to that effect. So we'll try that. Uh, is there any remote block? There's not. Okay, so you're really supposed to fly this thing from the... Ooh, this is going to be... Hmm. Well, this is going to be interesting. All right. Uh, up. Up, 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 up. That's up, slow, up, fast. Let's try slow. Okay, let's turn that down. Let's try fast. I don't feel like we're going anywhere. Wait, did the... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think the landing gears might be locked. Because I think the landing gears 
landing gear, lock state, unlock. Ah, this one's locked. Okay. So it's ready to lock. Nah. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I like the auto lock. Most of the time, it just really annoys me. Um, all right, let's try this again. Slow. Don't feel like we're going anywhere. Okay. I don't know that I'm doing this right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I just gotta spam that. Uh, I really wish, is there, um, speed is eight, seven. All right. So the speed up there is telling us our speed, I guess. And then once it hits zero, it's probably going to start descending, I imagine. Or just, no, there's one. Okay. So if we go up by one. Will that kind of hold us or, okay. I was trying to get it to hover was kind of my goal. I don't know if you can actually, here's another one. Let's just see if we spam this, does it go down? Yeah, I think it does. All right, I wish there was a more real time readout of like what my speed set for. I wonder, is that a thing? Oh, there we go. Maybe. Thrusters up all 3.2. Maybe that's what it, that's what I'm looking I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. Still says 3.2. Oh, acceleration is point. Okay. That's something I could probably work with for speed. Uh, anyways, when you get it to a certain point, let's try it here. Uh, there should be an auto fly, which I wanted to test out. Uh, roll, rotate. I don't really want to roll right now. That doesn't seem like a good idea. But you can see how using a combination of these buttons, um, you can control how it flies. Personally, I'm not a fan of this control scheme. Though, I don't know if that's tied into... It has to be this way because of the autofly thingy-bobber. Um... So the auto fly function, I don't really know how it's supposed to work as far as if it's truly automated or if it's supposed to balance itself out, but it looks like it's designed... If I read the description right, it sounded like it was supposed to be a circumnavigational system where it's basically supposed to go into orbit. Um, though I don't know... Let's try this. Let's try and turn this off. We'll turn auto fly off. And then let's go up a bit. And what I'd like to see is if auto fly will correct the vertical altimeter as well. Let's just uh, let's just go crazy here for a minute. Why not? Let's just open up the throttle. Um, now, obviously, in survival mode, your batteries and stuff will run differently depending on <clears throat> depending on how you're uh, cranking up your thruster speeds and everything. Okay, that's getting a little. A little higher than I meant. Let's turn you on. Let's see if she'll balance out herself. Probably not. Um, we're still climbing, it looks like. Yeah, I wish there was kind of a... I, I really kind of wish there was a set thing, some kind of screen readout or something that told you what your speed settings were not like your acceleration and stuff but like what your actual uh like if your thrusters were set to zero or if they were set to five or whatever so you could kind of get a better idea maybe that's just me but it does seem like it balanced itself out the acceleration is not negative four or whatever it was a minute ago so it does seem to be kind of balancing out and from here you have a very nice view of your hovering solar zeppelin. I'm actually very impressed with the auto fly. Well, no, oh, turn, keep your dampeners on and wait. Okay. So admittedly, that's probably why there's no gravity is so you can use your mag boots to keep yourself stationary while you're moving about. That's probably what it's for. 
Um, so yeah, I don't really know exactly all the ins and outs of why this was designed this way and not just with a remote block and like some scripts and stuff. I don't know. That would probably be just builder's choice, I guess. Uh, I'm not a fav I'm not a fan too much of the button controls, but I really like the auto orbit type controls. That's really neat. And I love the concept of a solar zeppelin. I think that's really cool. So with that, I think that's going to do it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so as if I wanted to, you know, stress test my new PC or something like that, I loaded up the Atlantis City. I'm sure that's not the official name. There's something else involved. But still, uh, check out the link in the description and stuff for the full name title. I did use the blueprint link. I might include both, actually. So bear that in mind. The reason being the description is actually in the blueprint link. And the world file that I'm using here just kind of had all the mods included, so I didn't have to go in and download them. Um, but I wanted to include the blueprint one just because of the information that it has about the build and blah, blah, blah. This thing is massive, and even with um, even with my new brand new system, it's still, it's still chugging frames. Um, we're running 30 at the moment, and when I get out of here, I'm floating somewhere around 20 to 15 and you can see my sim speed is taking a hit as well um that's the wrong button that is the wrong button stop it so many commands okay the odd part and i still have not figured this out other than just space engineers not being fully optimized or something um the odd part is that uh with my new system it doesn't seem to stress the components that much um so I'm really not sure why it's, like, I could see if the CPU is maxed out or something of it having a lot of frame issues, but I would think if there's more you can squeeze out of the CPU that and stuff that it should be fine. I don't know. I don't know. But again, when you can do higher end stuff, I tend to refer back to it as an alpha game, or beta, excuse me. So, you know, there's probably some optimization issues. Um, I don't know what this thing is. There's a lot of mods in here that I haven't been modding for a while, so I don't really know what these things are. Chair room transporter. I see. How do I how 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 does one transport in said transporter? Okay. I don't think we're going to be transporting just because of my inability to learn a transporter. <laughs> I don't know how much of this build I'm actually going to show off just because of the sheer size, though I'm actually really surprised at the, the frame rate, to be honest. As huge as this is, it is a little, little chuggy, but it's not that bad. I'm actually really impressed both with the build and my new system. So, uh, in that sense, um, I have no zero ideas where I'm going, by the way. Um, I'm 90% sure Atlantis is a Battlestar Galactica base. Please don't uh, crucify me if I'm wrong. But I think it is. Like, isn't it? Or is it? No, Stargate. Stargate, Stargate Atlantis, isn't it? Because, you know, Atlantis is in the title. Seems to make sense to me. So we'll go with that. Um... So, having not really seen the show or anything, don't really know anything about this. I'm sure viewers, long-time fans and stuff... I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't go up these stairs. Alright, tell you what. Um, I don't know that there's any particular crazy functionality in this build, with the exception of I do believe they're using the Stargate mod for Stargates. Go figure. Um, so, but so many stairs! Stair simulator. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is go into spectator mode and we're going to we're going to deal with it this way, because this way I can actually show you guys a bit more of the build. Now, I have to admit, I haven't seen much of the interior. I was captivated by this exterior. The, the, I mean, obviously, without the lighting, you get this cool mood light thing. I love this. I love this, like, um, almost looks like an emergency floodlight or street light type 
effect that's really cool. I'm turning my lights on just so you guys can see all the little intricate builds. And stuff. This had to have taken forever with the amount of detail in here. Um, just in the structure, not, not even including the interior, but just in the structure of how many different kinds of buildings and different designs. And stuff. This, this is crazy. Crazy pants. So, yeah, this thing is pretty intense. Um, like I said, though, I don't know too much about it in terms of, like, functionality, what's supposed to, uh, what all these are supposed to be. I don't know if they actually are. This one looks a bit hollow, so I don't know if all of these rooms and stuff actually have a function. Um, as we saw, there was interior stuff here, so that does seem to be a thing. Uh, let's actually check this out for a second. So if we go in here and we just skip the stairs, that's really what I wanted to use the spectator mode for, was just to skip the stairs. I just don't want to climb that many stairs uh, in real or virtual life. So this spits us out on like a balcony type thing. So I'm, I'm speculating. I could be wrong. It would not be the first time, but I'm speculating that there's not actually a lot of interior stuff outside of functionality. Okay, so sorry about that if, uh, if that seemed a little bit weird. Uh, my AC kicked on in the background and I haven't really been recording with it active um, since I switched over to OBS and everything, so I wasn't really sure how it would react to the sound, so I had to do some tests real quick to see if it came through. I don't think it did. If you hear a little bit of a haze in the background, that's all that is. Um, and you can let me know if you do, and I'll adapt accordingly, because I don't, I don't like hearing fuzzy background noise. It's just me. Um, whenever I watch other people's videos, I really hate when there's a uh, a fan or anything in the background. It, it just bothers me. So let me know what you guys think. But yeah, so ooh, this is cool. We have some kind of med bay, it looks like. Or possibly crew quarters, but I'm thinking med bay. Uh, I'm still in spectator mode because it just allows me to navigate this ginormous build so much easier. Uh, this looks like either a medical tower or some form of crew quarter tower. Oh, I, entire, I missed this other set of stairs entirely. I thought this went... I thought it stopped. Of course it doesn't. It just goes on and on forever. This must be a crew quarter, I'm guessing. Would be my guess. Um, yeah, and then we've got desks over here. So we're probably moving into... Uh, higher end quarters or a workout room or officer court something not really sure to be quite honest though I haven't really been sure about most any of this but I I'm honestly just blown away by the sheer amount of mass I was gonna say detail but it's not even the detail it's the massive amount of stuff that's in this build. I still don't know how to work those teleporters. <laughs> uh, oh, so here's a Stargate. There's a first. Actually found a Stargate. That's cool. Um, ooh, fancy schmancy control room with a hangar door on top in case we need to vent the aliens, I guess. Probably not. Uh, there's probably a reason for that up here. Yeah, here we go. So, oh, it's for ships, maybe? To drop a ship into the Stargate, perhaps? I don't know. I've never really watched Stargate. I don't know what the capabilities of Stargate actually are. By the way, did you like how I actually went up the stairs rather than just flying through the hangar because I'm so not used to being in spectator mode? Also, I even though I'm in spectator, I still wanted to kind of show off how you would probably get there, just in case anyone was wondering. Uh, but yeah, so this is pretty crazy, pretty crazy. This is just a, a massive build. It really is. Like, I don't think I have a long enough video to go through all this. And frankly, there isn't as much interior detail to really go over as there is exterior. Exterior has a ton of detail. I mean, little things, these little thrusters in here, these little grooves. Like, just these little random groove things, all that. 
yeah, so much work. So much time and work. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty big. So I thought this would be a good one for anybody that was working on exterior builds. Might help you out with some different ideas and designs. With that, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, we have shown this one off before, but not this build. Um, it was an earlier build from a long time back. Um, this one was designed with the intent to do it with minimal mods, which is cool. Um, there was only two scripts and one mod, I believe. I think it was the thrusters, if my memory serves. I think it was Milano thrusters. Um, overall, I was really expecting a lot more mods, to be honest. Um, I was very impressed with this in terms of the um, design and stuff. I believe, I can't say for sure, but I believe that we have seen um, the other Milano, which was a while ago. It was like when Guardians first came out or something like that. Um, and I think that one was a bit more movie-wise accurate. However, it was if I if my memory serves, which who knows, um, I'm pretty sure it was chock full of mods to to do it. If if I remember correctly. So for this to only have thruster mods and the rest be all vanilla is very impressive to me. I found that really, 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 really um, shocking. Because when I looked at it, I was like, oh, somebody did another Milano. And I was like, what? There's only like one mod? That's intense. Um, so let's get to the interior here. Um, yeah, so we have a couple cryopods over here. We have what looks to be... Oh, that's just for show. Okay, I was like, that's an efficiency mod. What is that doing in here? Do we have an assembler? No, negative. Um, so we have some cargo bays over here. We do have a refinery. Wait, is this a large ship grid? Oh, it is a large ship grid. Okay. Okay, things make sense now. That's why there's modules and stuff is because it's a large grid. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're good. We're good people. I don't know why I thought it was a small ship grid, probably just because of the size of the Milano overall. I just didn't expect it to be done in a large, but that makes sense now. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Is that a custom texture? Is that a custom texture? No, it's just an arrow. Hmm intriguing i don't know if that's it that is or not that's a cool one though whether it's vanilla or not i like it um so we have our looks like block readout i was gonna say system but it looks like it's just whether or not things are on uh cargo container so that that? yeah cargo container there we have a very decorative solar farm because there's no way that's getting used for anything Oxygen tanks, uh, gyroscopes, beacon with a little turret, a large reactor in the back, and what looks to be either an assembler or an arc refinery, or an arc furnace back there. Uh, my gut says go with assembler, or oh wait, no, that could be an oxygen generator. Can't tell from here. But anyways, stuff and things, we got the refinery up there. Uh, we have a programmable block here, and we can come up here to a small reactor for, I'm guessing, maintenance, maybe? How does one get back up is kind of what I'm wondering. I guess you just use a jetpack. Um, some builders will actually build with the idea of either gravity lifts or mag boots or something in mind so you're not having to rely on your jetpack all the time. Some do not. Ooh, I like this bridge. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, and it's got a cool um, projector crosshair. I love these things. I don't know why. I, don't, I, I guess because you can turn them on and off and they're in-game. They're not some kind of texture hack kind of thing. Um, but I love, I love uh, projector crosshairs. I can't get out of here. All right. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? LCD cockpit, energy saving mode, shut down all systems. We do not want to push that button. Is this the same thing? No. Uh, well, wait. Tom. 
Hmm. Um. Okay, so <laughs> this confused me. In case you were wondering why there was so many pauses there, this and this and this all looks like a different language. But then Red Alert was not, and I was like, wait, is it a different language? Is this just some? Is is, is like. Ton block a kind of block? Like, is that... <laughs> and then I was like, no, 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 that's, um... So I think this is just, that's English, and this is something else. Not really sure. I don't want to say it wrong. I have my theories, but I don't want to say it wrong. But I guess Red Alert, kind of universal. I guess it's just, you know, that's what you push when you're all going to die. Um... <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, does this... Hold up, does this have one of those mobile LCD screen things? Because otherwise those are really small print. That's like really tiny. So, if the uh, according to the description, the middle seat is configured for the main pilot seat and kind of has all of the stuff and things. The left and right one up there can be configured to do virtually whatever you want apparently. Um, so it's kind of left open. So we have rockets. It. I'm not sure if this is... Let's try it. Okay, so it is an auto-fire. I wasn't sure if that was an on or off. Um, atmospheric thrusters, ion thrusters, searchlights, red alert. Um, that play. I'm gonna laugh if somebody tells me no, that is an English word and I'm just an idiot. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, oh, okay. I don't think it is. LCD cockpit... Battery, jump drive, I don't see. Shut down all systems, camera. Uh, I mean, these are kind of self-explanatory. I don't see anything for it to rotate down or whatever, other than maybe the red alert button. Let's try it. Nope, just red alert. What is, what is going on with this green light here? So the lights change there, but why does that up there turn off? I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's driving me crazy. It looks like a gyroscope. It is a gyroscope. Why? Huh. Why does the gyroscope turn off when you go to red alert mode? Hmm. Don't know. All right, so um, we didn't really test the Zeppelin too much because of its button controls, and I wasn't even going to bother trying to move the Stargate. So let's go ahead and try out the Milano. Um, with its its turning and stuff is really nice. Um, the rotation or the the roll is a little on the sluggish side, but not bad. Um, I really like the turning. And gyroscope controls. That's really nice. Thrust, pretty good overall. Especially because the Milano is kind of a fighter, but it's a heavier fighter. So it's going to move a little bit sluggish. Now, let's see what happens when we turn Red Alert on and that gyroscope turns off. I'm wondering if that's not supposed to be there. I don't know. I'm not detecting any really any difference in the controls. Unless that's purely visual. And that's just meant to be a red light, green light kind of thing for whether or not you're doing red alert or not red alert. Um, but I, I'm not seeing any actual control difference in the gyroscope, so I'm thinking that's just a light indication. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!